Hi, Alex. Today we're talking about pathways to Czech citizenship. How does one become a Czech citizen? Yeah, so generally you would have to have a Czech ancestor, so someone that came from the Czech Republic that was born there. Uh, you would want them to have immigrated after 1918. You, if you were going to look at by, the by birth pathway, you would want to make sure that yourself or your connecting ancestor, so your, your parent, if your grandparent was the Czech ancestor, you would want your parent to have gotten Czech citizenship at birth, so then you could have gotten Czech citizenship at birth. That obviously depends on the different laws that were in place at those times. So mm -hmm. that's where we come in because we're experts and we know all the laws so we can tell you whether you would be eligible by birth. And then the next pathway would be by declaration. So essentially that's just if your parent or grandparent held Czech citizenship but then lost it, you as a child or a grandchild would be able to claim Czech citizenship through a process they call declaration. Mm -hmm. There's also a naturalization pathway which we don't generally work with, but if you have resided as a permanent resident in, eight years, I think, yeah, yeah. for about mm. eight years in Czech Republic, you can naturalize as a Czech citizen. Mm. Then, yeah, but there's a language component, and so yeah, it's a more complicated knowledge test, language yeah. component. Yeah, as I said, you have to be a permanent resident, so it's a bit more difficult. But for the two pathways uh, which you described, there's no language requirement. Yep. It's just documentation that you mm -hmm. need to um, show. Mm -hmm. And essentially what you've explained is that we look at your case uh, through the lens of the Czech law of, of today. And also we go back to in time to 1918 yep. just to see if anything happened. So it's kind of like yep. by exclusion, right? Yep. So you look at any events that may have caused your ancestors to lose their citizenship, not, yeah. not being able to pass it on to you. Yeah, exactly. So some people might not know this, but if you you had a Czech ancestor that was of German or Hungarian nationality as well, that would affect your eligibility because that would mean that in some cases you're not eligible for Czech citizenship. You could be eligible for German in that case, but mm. yeah, generally they're not going to let someone who's of German nationality get Czech citizenship. So that's another thing to look out for as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is because the area that um, the Czech Republic is of today went back and forth, um, you know, yeah. through generations. Um, mm. There are, there are con contested areas that were for a time part of Ukraine, yeah. then Hungary, then Germany. And so the Czech government is quite protective of... Um, um, you know, kind of not letting minorities rule. Um, and for that reason, there are some nationalities that are completely excluded from the process. But as Alex said, you might qualify for um, another citizenship such as German. Um, so one of the reasons we ask so many questions and we yeah. need to be so precise is because we can map out a, a journey for you, whether it's Czech citizenship, Slovak or mm -hmm. German or whatever, uh, with a lot of certainty. So. We don't want you to waste your time and money on something that you can never get. Yeah. Um, so if you're finding um, Alex asking those questions frustrating, there's a reason behind it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but we, we usually get to the bottom of it. And then mm -hmm. the answers you get uh, from us for free are very precise as well. And um, there's usually a plan of action attached mm -hmm. to it. So um, once your someone's eligibility is confirmed, what happens next? Yeah, so if you're confirmed that you're a Czech citizen, that's actually amazing for you. So you can go get Czech citizenship. But what we would do is we would obviously tell you what documents you'd need for that application. So as we mentioned, vital records, birth certificates and that sort of thing. Either you'll have them already or you won't and we'll be able to do research to get them for you. From there, if we need to do the research, that will take around three to six months and we obviously will need yeah, your authority to be able to do that research. But once we have those documents, then essentially we're going to do translations and apostles of those documents. And your, this will be your case manager and they will prepare your citizenship application. They'll put everything together and hand it into the Czech government in Prague. And then what they'll do is wait for a decision to be made about your case. So then from there, if it's successful, which it should be because we're really good at what we do, then you will get your citizenship certificate in, sent back to you with, along with all your other documents. And then that's when you'll be able to go get a passport. Yeah. So if you got a headache uh, out of all of that, that's a good thing because now you can tell and you can see um, the amazing work that we do <laughs> to remove the headache. Uh, but it is, um, you know, if Alex made it sound really simple, uh, it's because it's not. Um, 
um, you know, the way that we present this information is, um, you know, simple, but simple is never easy, right? Mm. Um, so there's like an entire team behind the scenes uh, working uh, with you, and we, um, we we do have a pretty perfect um, score in getting people citizenship. So we don't take cases on where uh, we are uncertain or there's some sort of a complication, or we tell you upfront um, that you'd be taking a risk. Um, Alex, I did want to ask you, um, what are some of the reasons that you would uh, tell someone to work with us? So um, for the sake of transparency, we know mm -hmm. that you can go through the consulate, you can even go to Prague yourself and mm -hmm. um, enjoy the beer and the lovely <laughs> views and try and deal with the Czech government uh, directly. But why would you um, advise someone to work with us? Yeah. I would say because we do have a team of specialists and experts that have worked on so many cases over so many years already. Mm -hmm. So they've kind of perfected the process of doing a Czech citizenship application. I know I work with Jakub closely and he's just absolutely amazing and very cautious and does his job really, really well. Yes. So he's probably the biggest reason why we have such a good success rate for Czech citizenship applications. So yeah, like everyone who's gone along and worked with Yaku before, you will be taken really good care of by him because mm -hmm. he really cares about what he does and he will make sure that you have a successful case. But along with that, I would say work with us because we really love what we do and we have so many years of experience. So that just means that we know what we're doing and we can yeah, yeah. help you. And also very passionate yeah. uh, about the work and, and, and your stories, which we, we are very respectful about. Yeah. Um, but, you know, typically people want to reconnect with the heritage, but they also get want to get a European passport. Yeah. And for that reason, we try and streamline things and make, make them as seamless as we can. Yeah. Um, so thank you uh, for thank that, you. Alexandra.